Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this video I'm just going to show you how to use the new buy it with upsell features that we've added as part of Showtime version 7.0. So we have this product open in one of our demo stores and you can see there's this area that shows up down here above the cart button frequently bought together where the customer can select these check boxes and add these additional products to the cart at the same time as the original product. So we think this is a pretty cool feature. I don't believe any other theme offers this right now. You can always use an app to do this, but that's going to be an extra expense. So we think this is a nice value added feature and I'm just going to show you how to set it up now. So first of all, let's just try it out, see how it works. We can just click these check boxes and this number you see appears above the cart button to let you know how many products you're adding. So we are adding the, the original product plus these other two. I'm gonna click add to cart. And you can see that all three of these products have been added to the cart. And there they are in the cart itself. So pretty cool feature. Let's see how we set that up. So over here in one of my demo stores, dev stores, we have a fresh version of the theme installed. I'm going to go to my products and I'm just going to select a product that I want to add some upsell products to. So I'll select this blue bowl with handle and these upsell products are created using meta fields and meta fields are just custom fields that Shopify supports where you can store data. So the first thing that we have to do is actually create the meta fields for this particular function. So meta fields are located in settings and then we're going to go to meta fields and we're going to go to products. So we have no meta fields created right now. I'm going to click add definition. So I'm just going to give this the name buy with product and the name doesn't really matter, but this namespace and key does. So I'm going to change this custom that's added automatically and put by underscore with. Now this is important. You have to use this particular prefix um, in order for this function to work. You can put a description in here if you want. It's not required. This is only for your, your own benefit. So I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And then I'm going to select content type and I'm going to choose product. Save. So now we've created a buy with product meta field. This functionality also supports the ability to choose a single variant of a product to upsell. So I'm going to go ahead and create a definition for that too. You may not need this. If your products don't have any options that the customer must select like size or color, then you don't need to do this. But if you want to upsell a specific variant on a product page, then you'll have to do this. So I'm going to call this one buy with variant. And then again, I've got to change this. This will still be buy underscore with. And then I'm going to leave that blank, choose the content type. And in this scenario, I'm going to choose product variant. Save. So now we've created the two variants. We can now, uh, the two meta fields, we can now create two upsells. One will be a product and one will be a variant of a product. So we can close this down now and we'll go back to this product page. And you'll now see that this new meta fields area at the bottom of the page has shown up. So I'm going to select a buy with product. First of all, I'm just going to show you this product in the, in the demo. And you can see that there are no um, upsell products showing on this page right now. So back in here, I'm going to go in and add some meta fields here. So I'm going to choose buy with product, click in here, and it's as simple as just selecting a product. So I'm going to select this cushy task chair because you always want to buy a bowl with a chair, I guess, right? So I've selected that and I'm going to save. And then once that's done, there's still one more step. So we need to go 
into our online store and themes area and I'm going to customize the theme and I'm going to go to a product page. I just selected default product there and I need to add a block that shows this buy with function. It looks like this one already has it. The default product page already has it. So nothing is showing here because I haven't set up anything for this particular product. But if this weren't in here, I would just go to add block and I would choose buy with. It's already in here, so it won't let me choose it again. But that would choose that would show up under this list. You just add it and you can put it where you want. So typically you would put it just above the buy buttons on the product page and then save. So now if I go ahead and refresh this, since I've added the meta fields, you'll now see that you can buy this cushy task chair along with this bowl. Add it to the cart and we've added the bowl and the task chair in the nice red colors to the cart both at the same time. So you do the same thing similarly. Um, you can get back to Gotta get out of here and go back to the product. Click the blue bowl with handle again. And if I wanted to just select a single variant, I would do the same thing, click in here. So it's going to pull up all your products and it's now showing all the available variants of each product. So let's say I wanted to upsell this placemat in the white plastic variant I would select here. You want to make sure that you've specified images for your variants so that it will actually show um, for best results. You can just see that I haven't added an image here, so it's going to show a default image here. But let's go ahead and save that and see what it looks like. So again, I'm going to refresh this. Might take a second. There it goes. So since we didn't select a, a variant image for that, it's just showing the default product photo. But if you did have a variant image specified for the cherry placemat white and plastic, then it would show here. Otherwise, it has a nice fallback of the default product image. So you can see how that works. So you could continue adding additional meta fields. So if you wanted to upsell four or five products, you would just, again, go back into settings, go to meta fields, and you can continue adding more buy with definitions in here. So if you wanted to make this buy with two, and then again, change this to buy with, buy underscore with, choose the content type product, save. Then you could now add a third product to upsell. You can do as many as you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend going too crazy, but you could certainly have several products that you upsell and they will all add to the cart at once. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.